batter up sports card fans welcome to the video that i talked about doing last year and i never did but this year i am doing it and that is the list that i will have to work on the name however for right now i'm calling it the people that g dubs has invested in <laughs> all right that's what we're talking about here and we are going to go through a couple stacks here of cards and players that uh, that I think can have breakout seasons and people that I think are underrated in the hobby and people that I think uh, if you wanted to and if it's something you like to do, you could possibly make a profit on. Now, full disclaimer, please do not take any of my advice. This is just what I'm doing. And uh, I don't want anyone in the comments being like, hey, I invested all of my money in Anthony Rendon. What's up, man? <laughs> I don't want that. So first off, uh, starting it off, Blake Snell. Padres have an awesome, awesome opportunity here to uh, to make some noise in the postseason uh, and beyond with an absolutely stacked team. And Blake Snell, former Cy Young himself, has a chance to uh, to reclaim his status as a, an elite pitcher. And that is why I picked up some of these. These are just some that I've been picking up at card shows, value boxes. I didn't pay five bucks for this, um, you know, but we have his autograph refractor, rookie autograph. We have his rookie autograph. And then one that I got from Peds. And Peds, I love you, man. Uh, I think this was an absolute steal. I got this for $25 from Peds. So huge hookup from Ped's card collection. Go check him out and subscribe to him. He, uh, I owe that to him for letting me buy this for $25 because I think that's a steal. So that's my first, the first guy I got on the, uh, these might make their way to uh, Edward Bay, as I call it, if Blake Snell starts going into a solid uh, postseason run. Um, someone else that is under the radar um, but I think has a ton of potential. You'll see a, a little grouping here that I have. And that is another pitcher by the name of Tyler Glass now. And he's coming off of Tommy John surgery, which usually means that they get better. Um, he's injured right now, but I believe he's coming back soon. Had a little setback in spring training, I believe. But I don't believe it was uh, had anything to do with the Tommy John. I think it was a different injury, so... Very interesting, but we got this uh, rookie refractor. We have his rookie prism, and then this is where it gets fun. I found a collector online uh, last year um, when he was injured, and it, he was about to come back last year. And I knew he wasn't going to do anything last year because uh, usually after Tommy John, you, it, it's the second year that really you start actually showing improvement and so I grabbed these before he came back because I didn't want them to you know I, I assumed people would get excited about them and the, the prices would start to rise so just as uh, normal two chrome autographs however I like this one better than I like this one I'm not crazy about his signature it's um you'll see it's it's it leaves a lot to be desired but then we've got a nice little starter rainbow set here we've got the purple all right, we've got the purple, we've got the blue, we've got the blue wave, and we have the gold. And out of all of these, this is the one that I, I would want to keep myself. I love the blue. It looks beautiful. Tops, like, come on, look at how beautiful this is. All right, the design, the everything about it that they did in the background, so much better than the parallels that they do nowadays. So tops, take a look at that. Try to redo that, please. It's 2017, they were starting to get to something. 2018, they mastered it. And then 2019, it kind of went all off the rails a little bit. Wasn't the worst, but it wasn't the best. Uh, speaking of pitchers who are coming back off of injury, former Cy Youngs, Shane Bieber. Got his chrome, and I have a bunch of his paper update. Oh, there we go. That's the next one. <laughs> Spoiler alert. So Shane Bieber is the next uh, that I believe, and uh, I think he's already doing all right this year. Um, and the Guardians are going to be a decent team. So he is someone else that I thought was worth the investment. 
And then Lou Bob is the uh, Lou Bob Jr. now. Um, I picked this up. I picked this up with the PSA 10 for cheaper than I bought the BGS 9.5 that I have in my collection. So um, when I saw this, I was like, well, I have to grab that. But a Chrome uh, rookie autograph for Lou Bob is definitely one that I have waiting for the right day when he hopefully becomes a absolute masterful masher. Um, and this card gets so much hate online, literally just because of his pants. And, um, and I love it so much because of that, because people hate this and, uh, make fun of him for his fashion choice. I wanted this card. <laughs> That's literally the reason why I bought it. I was like, you guys are idiots. I want that card now. Um, and now here is the stack of players that is the, um, Let's see if they can regain their former glory. That's that's this pile, all right? First off, Bellinger. Um, we got a couple of nines to start it off, but we do get the Chromes, PSA 10. We got a few of those, all right? We are ready for him to start mashing for the Cubs. So very, very uh, hopeful that Bellinger, I wanted the Red Sox, truthfully, to sign him. I thought he would be great uh, for us. Um, someone else who I hope can regain his uh, his MVP form is Christian Yelich. And so I have not one, but two refractor autographs as well to go along with that. So, uh, and then also with all the Beckett controversy, I mean, this is like, I had to look at this for so long and be like, I know it doesn't have the subgrades or whatever, but like the font of everything is different, you know? And I'm like, this is part of what you guys have to kind of work on and get, get a little bit more uniform with that kind of stuff. Um, but two refractor autographs are, uh, are definitely worth the gamble there. Um, and then his uh, Mint 9 Auto 10. So... Love those, and uh, I hope he can regain his form this year because the I've said it a hundred times, the MLB is better when people like Christian Yelich are superstars. And then Mr. Fight with the Fans himself, Anthony Rendon. Um, I Honestly, these are ones that I had bought last year expecting him to regain the form and match up with Nolan Arenado for value. Um, but he got hurt last year. Um, I saw a great meme that said that his suspension should be that he has to fi play five consecutive games in a row. And that should be his punishment, that he actually has to play, <laughs> which I thought was great. Um, so uh, I hope he can uh, regain some form because then I can sell those and regain some money. <laughs> uh, all right. So now my next two are the last two here and they are my blue chip prospects. You've noticed I've been keeping this free and that is for the last person here. Um, and I alluded to him on Monday. So teaser alert. If you uh, if you watch the Mega Box Monday video this week uh, right up here. Then I teased who uh, who our star spotlight will be. But the runner-up is Spencer Torkelson. And this card is his short print variation out of Series 2 out of 2022. Um, this is the same set that has the horizontal J-Rod that is like $400, which is insane. Um, I pulled it on this channel right up there. And I did, in fact, sell it for four hundred, over four hundred dollars. The, uh, the pretty much at the height of J Rod mania. Meanwhile, this card could be had at thirty dollars, and so I went out and said, you know what? I see tremendous value here, and look at all the short prints that I have, including an SGC ten. So. I very much think that Torkelson uh, can be... I mean, he was going into that. It wasn't J-Rod that was supposed to be the number one. It was Torkelson. So uh, I thought that was very exciting to have. And hopefully he can do extremely well. And I will do extremely well as a result. Someone who is doing extremely well right now. And I hate to say I told you so. But I, 
I very much thought that this could happen and I'm very happy for him as a person. Um, has totally, totally changed his swing, which is crazy that they can be a professional baseball player, get to a certain point, and then completely reinvent themselves and do well. It's uh, unbelievable. So I hope he has a long, long career. Um, here is his short print from 2021. And then we get some, some fun here. Uh, Sapphire update autograph. Sapphire update autograph. Sapphire update autograph. This is one of the biggest, I think. This is his true Sapphire rookie autograph. Technically a short print, but really not really. Um, but this, however, is a short print autograph because he was not in Chrome. He was only in Chrome as an autograph subject. Um, and these two are sealed by tops, which is really, very, really, very cool. And then we have an absolute gem rookie short print autograph. We have his blue wave BGS 910. Look at the autograph on here. I love it. It pops so much, technically a color match. And then we have the gold. It's a nine, which isn't, uh, isn't a 10, but the auto is a 10. It's a beautiful, beautiful card. And what's crazy is I paid more for this than I did for this because I bought this leading into, it was on the, like he didn't do well. So it was like, oh, he could do well in 2022. That was when this was purchased. This was purchased after 2022. So I got this cheaper than I, I paid for this, which is insane. So uh, when I inevitably sell this for much more than I paid for this, that'll help offset the costs. <laughs> but I was uh, always sitting, I was sitting here and you've heard it in my videos that I think that Kelnick uh, very much can put it all together. And I'm very happy that he is putting it all together. Um, we're gonna do this right here. And then we're gonna do some, some just very quick short print loving for Spencer Torkelson. We're gonna give him the shout out. Yeah, we'll do that. How about that? There we go. So there you have it. That is the G-Dubs Collects official what am I investing in checklist, okay? That's who I invested in over the past two years. And so as you can see, like Anthony Rendon, I don't know. I might have lost on that. I definitely lost. I'll tell you who I definitely lost on. I have a stack of Lubob chrome and paper rookie cards, PSA 10. Uh, the paper I bought for $89 each. The chrome I bought for $98 each. And I bought them two days before he got hurt back in 2021. So, cautionary tale. <laughs> Don't buy cards uh, of prospects. Uh, during the height of the biggest boom in sports trading cards because um, his rookie PSA did. Now, this one is, is worth a little bit. This is nice. Uh, and hopefully it becomes worth even more. But his chrome and his paper are um, almost not even worth getting graded at this point because there are so many of them. So I don't think I'm going to make my money back on that. So I'm not here to tell you that everything I do is Kelnick. All right, because uh, Kelnick has paid off so far. Um, I don't know if uh, Lou Bob will ever pay off. I don't know if Spencer Torkelson will pay off. I don't know if Christian Yelich will pay off. But um, So that's the thing is collect what you love. And if, if you can get a good deal on it, um, I have one of his autographs already. So this is completely a coupon waiting to be sold. Um, I don't need it in my collection. Uh, however, one of these, if I don't end up selling, if I don't end up selling one of these, I wouldn't mind hanging on to them because the refractor looks beautiful uh, in this age. So that is my tale is buy something that you feel comfortable selling if the price gets to a certain extent 
and a certain uh, gap uh, is reached, and you're like, okay, now I can I can sell this. But if you're stuck with it and you're you're sitting there going, you know what? Um, all right, uh, this isn't going to be sold. I'm going to be stuck with a Lubob Chrome Rookie PSA 10. Then just be happy with what you purchase, so that if it doesn't, if the investment doesn't pay off at the end of the day you're still happy because you have a great card in your collection so that's my important disclaimer please make sure you do that um and then please make sure you like this video subscribe to the channel and click the little bell icon so you get notified every time i post a daily video i appreciate it i don't do too many uh videos like this usually i start ripping some stuff but here's a little glimpse into uh the the uh, Zion cases of G Dubs. I actually don't have a Zion case. I have the uh, the <laughs> I have the ghetto one that you get from uh, Harbor Freight Tools. That's the one I have. So uh, Zion cases. If you're interested in me being a sponsor, feel free to send me a couple cases. Would love to talk about you guys and give you a promo code. Um, and then when you get a chance, head on over to Instagram and Twitter at G Dubs Collects. Give me a follow. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Keep the hobby alive. Keep on collecting, not necessarily investing. Keep on collecting.